instead. A super quick one today, how to make a nice, healthy, low toxic salve um, and also to use that salve to make a lip balm. So Jasmine and I are going to show you what to do. So it's a super easy one to make. When you think salve, think of a moisturiser. It's a moisturiser about all the colourants, chemicals, all the rest of it. Nice and natural. So we have got shea butter, olive oil, coconut oil and beeswax. So all I've done is melt the beeswax, melt the shea butter, ooh, tip the shea butter and melt the coconut oil. With the coconut oil I've added dandelion. So I've dried out the dandelion for a couple of days I've popped it in a jar with the coconut oil and mixed it up and you can see how it's gone that yellow colour. Uh, apparently there's quite a few benefits of dandelion, think what you like, it just adds something else to the salve. Anyway, alright Jasmine, in a clean jug, tip all of the beeswax, scrape it all in, I'll scrape it all in, tip all the shea butter. Now I'm not giving you, it's already gone hard, look at that, it doesn't take much. You can melt all this back up. Tip in the shea butter and then let's tip in the coconut oil. In it goes. Okay. If it goes hard, just pop it in a pot and melt it or in a microwave, in a microwave safe dish and melt it. So, coconut oil will melt at heat, but otherwise is that kind of solid-y thing. Give it a stir, so is butter, and you can see the beeswax will go hard. It's already going hard. So the beeswax is going to give you a firmer salve. If you like it more runny, you'd use less beeswax. We've also got here some olive oil. I'm not gonna use much of this. That's it. Just whatever you want to add. Depends how liquidy you like it. If you want a bit firm, so you're kind of rubbing the top of the jar and rubbing it in. If it turns out too hard, just melt the jar again and add a bit more oil and mix it in. So soft oil makes it runny. Hard oil makes it hard. Wax makes it harder again. And uh, if you could see it, it's already starting to get um, pretty hard. Yeah, so we want to try and avoid those lumpy bits now. Now this is a time when you would add your fragrance oil or whatever it is you like in your salve for scent. I'm not adding that, but what I am going to add is my strained dandelion oil to get all those benefits of those botanicals in there. That's it. That is mixing up your salve done. Grab yourself a jar, Jasmine. All right. Okay, and we're just going to tip it in. Be very careful because it can still be pretty hot. Yep. Okay, so I've just tipped it in. Now get another jar and we'll tip some in. So a salve is very similar to what a lip balm is. So if you're wanting to make a lip balm, we've got a few different little options here. And these are plastic, um, but I think it's like $3 for all of these some time ago, but I'm pretty sure you can still get them in cheap shops. So I've got an old teat pipette, teat pipette there. So squeeze it, squeeze the air out, put it in the thing, squeeze. So she's filled up her lip balm. Do you want scent in it? Uh, yes. Peppermint? Yes. Okay. Hello, husband. Hello. Gonna come make sound with us? No, we're good. Okay, literally one drop. Okay. It's gonna be hard. I use this making a cake, so I'm pretty good at Yeah, it. one drop. Or it'll sting your lips. There we go. Give it a little mix. See it in there? So give it a mix up. And that's a lip balm made. So you've got two products from the one thing. So you've got a simple salve that will set and go harder. And you've got a lip balm. Perfect holiday gifts, quick and easy activities to do with the kids. You can measure things out exact and 
um, practice measurements and that kind of thing. That's it. Put the lid on. If you can get these that are not plastic, that would be pretty good. Yeah, you can buy little jars and things as well. So we'll wait for this to go hard and then pop a nice label on it. Pop the ingredients on there. It's always nice to have the ingredients so you know what's in it in case you're allergic. And that's it. Yeah, if a little bit of this resonates with you. And me. <laughs> and you.